in this pop-up Let's Play live stream, we're going to be playing American Mahjong at I Love Maj. We're going to try out a different place. I've been playing there for a little bit, and I've enjoyed it. There are some great skill builder features there. So I think I'm going to start using that for a little while at the Nitty Gritty Basics Let's Play live stream. So I thought we'd get on line and poke around the website a little bit. Are y'all with me? Maybe we could play a few games and try out I Love Maj. Yes, it is sunny and hot in Atlanta. I just came back from running errands. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Let's see here. Here we go. Let's see, hold on. We'll do this one. Okay. Here's I Love Mosh. Have it has anybody in the room played here before? I've just been playing with robots. But they have some skill builders that I really like. And I think it's a great place to practice decision making. You could even redeal tiles to get the same effect or work with the same tiles with two different plans, like a plan A, plan B. D says she plays with the bots. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go full screen. So I, I thought we'd pop into the build your skills area. Oh, Judith plays here too. You can only play with robots. Um, well, I'd be interested to hear the pros and cons that you have with your experience. Okay, so this didn't go where I really wanted it to. Let me see here. We're going to go back to the dashboard because I think you have to click on Mahjong exercises. Okay, so Mahjong exercises is what you click on to go to the exercise room. Oh, this just tells you about it. Oh, we got to log in first. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I'm pretty new to this platform. So you have to log in. So I'm going to do that really quick. Oh. Am I an agent? Oh, secret agent. Uh-oh, maybe I have to log in there. Log in here. Uh, it's not recognizing. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing for a second. It's not recognizing my password. Okay, so I'm going to start over. Okay, log in. I just logged in. Here we go. Okay, well, that was weird. It let me in this time. Okay. So here we go. This is, this is where you choose whether you're going to play with robots or humans. So if you can play with online players randomly. I guess they're going to do a matching per skill level later. It's a future feature. But right now, you can just play with randomly matched people. Or you can schedule a time to play with friends, which is kind of cool. Private game. All right, that's nice. And then, of course, you can play with robots, which maybe we'll get to in a minute. They are challenging. Yes, I've been playing with the advanced robots. Okay, so let's do this Charleston practice first. This is what we're going to do tomorrow night. We're going to do Charleston, or not tomorrow night, tomorrow during the day at the Nitty Gritty Prime or Nitty Gritty Basics Let's Play Live Stream. We're going to do Charleston Chain Reaction in Charleston practice. So let's go in there and see how this looks. So we're going to start. Okay, we don't want to, we don't want to see. We don't need to give, we don't need suggestions. We're going to use our own instincts. 
so what I like to do when I do Charleston chain reaction is I look at my dealt hand, which we have right here, and then I pick a plan A and a plan B. And after the Charleston, we should be prompted to redeal the same tiles. So if it works the way I'm predicting it will, then we're going to do that. But we need to first pick a plan A and a plan B. So what I see here is a pair of nine bands. That's where I would start. Nine band pair with probably six, seven, eight. So consecutive run six, seven, eight, nine or seven, eight, nine of some kind. Mix suit maybe at the moment. But the other potential in here is three, six, nine. However, we have no threes. So I would say for this deal, plan A is consecutive run and plan B is three, six, nine. So let's try consecutive run first. And we're going to hold the nine BM. And we're just going to click on the tile and drag it over. You can also do sort by rank, which sorts by numbers, or you can do sort by suit. So either way, I, I prefer sorting by suit and then moving the tiles I want to focus on. So we're going to hold the sixes too. So we're going to do six, seven, eight, nine of some kind. We do have tiles we can pass. And to pass, you can either drag your tiles into the table space, or you can double click or double tap if you're on a mobile device. And then click pass. So let's see what we get. We've got dragons. Look at the dragons in here. OK, we have Southwest dragons. Maybe let's see here. The consecutive run hands with dragons are the same suit. So we're going to focus on six, seven, eight, nine and break up the dragons. Usually I would re reassess, but we're doing an exercise here called chain reaction. We'll focus on three, six, nine later. So I think we can do either two dragons or two wins here, or maybe let a six go. Let's see here. Six, seven, nine, six crack. Let's let the six crack go. And we're going to pass. Okay, we got ones north and south. So let's pass north, one red. Oh, hi, Kathleen. You've made it to the leaderboard. Oh, my goodness. Kudos. That's fantastic. Okay, so let's pass. We've got the dragon again. Let's continue. And then we're going to do south, one crack, and four. You only play with bots. OK. All right, look, we got a nine. That is in our range. We did pick up another multiple with the one. Bam. We're going to break that up, though. And then we're going to need to let something go here, because I don't want to pass two dragons, and I don't want to pass like numbers. So I think what we could do is maybe let the six dot go. So let's say seven, eight, nine of some kind. We maybe could even switch to like numbers with nines. OK, now here we have like numbers with ones a north green. Let's pass the one dot. OK, look, we got keepers, keepers. Woohoo! We've got a hand in here for six, seven, eight, nine. Sometimes you just got to be patient. OK, now for our optional cross, I would say we have two tiles, but we might be able to let something else go. We could maybe play six, seven dot nine. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine, nine, seven, crack, eight, crack, nine dot, nine bam, flower. And we even have a joker to help us. So I think maybe we could let the six dot go and give up the red dragon and a one. So let's pass three. So let's do six dot, red dragon, one bam. See if we get any keepers. And they it rearranged my tiles for what they think is the best hand, which is 369. I'm sorry, not 369, like numbers with nines. But I disagree because we have a gap. There's no nine crack. So 
I don't agree with that assessment. I, I would play seven, eight, nine with flowers secondhand from the bottom, or maybe seven, eight, nine mix suit Kongs, I think might even be a better option. That would be the fourth hand down. So there were tiles in here for consecutive run. Let's see how many discards we have. Red dragon is a discard, white dragon is a discard, and then let's say one, four, six. So that's five discards. So we're going to replay with the same tiles. And this time we're going to look at either, well, three, six, nine, I think, but like numbers with nines. Let's see if like numbers with nines had a better result, has a better result. So we're going to replay and then we're going to sort by suit and then we're going to hold three, six, nine or like numbers. Okay, so there's 369 for now. Now let's discard. Hi, Jingles. South one, let's do eight dot. All right, so we've got a red dragon. We have a pair in there now. Let's do west one, seven. Okay, now we have a one. Okay, let's pull that back. This is another thing I like about this platform is you can change your mind on your pass. So we're going to pull that back because I want to pass a seven bam with a one dot instead of a one bam with a seven bam. And then let's say the four. So you can change your mind, which is kind of nice. So we're going to pass. Okay, we got a nine crack. Still no threes. So we want to keep going. We're going to do one, bam, eight crack, not uh, two crack. No keepers. So let's do one, bam, four, bam, seven dot. We'll pass. And then we can pass these just fine. Pass. Okay, now we got a nine dot. Now we have all the nines. So we could play like numbers with nines. We still didn't get any threes yet. We have one more pass, the optional cross. Now here's one thing that I want to know. Can we negotiate the optional cross? That's what I want to know. And it doesn't look like we can. We say how many we want, and I don't think we can change our minds. So we're going to say, let's say three and then see what happens. Three, it's gonna let us do three. I wonder, we'll have to play with a robot and see if we can change our mind. Like if the robot says they want two and we say we want three, can we change our mind and say none, for example? We should be able to do that. So we'll see. Hi, Carol. Yeah, I thought I would try this platform for the beginner sessions on Monday mornings. So we're just kind of poking around the platform to see what it's like. This is I Love Maj. So we're just checking it out. I, I do have an affiliate with the, uh, them. So I would get a commission if anybody decides to do the, tr there's a three week trial through my affiliate link. And if anybody decides to keep going with a paid subscription, I do get a small commission. So it is an another way to help support my YouTube channel, but there are some skill builders on the platform that I think will be really beneficial for people. And so that's why we're here. We're just trying it out. And I'll probably use it for the beginner live streams and then use the other platform for the advanced sessions. Judah says, you don't think you can change the optional. You sent that as a question, but they said no, that you can't right now. They're working on it. Okay, that's nice. All right, so we're going to pass. And it's, it's telling us that we should play like numbers with nines. And in this case, I would agree. And we have six discards. So we actually had fewer discards with consecutive run. So I think for these tiles, consecutive run, especially with the flexibility, had a much better result. It's easier to see the tiles, Mary says. 
it is definitely quite quite a bit bigger. There are pros and cons for every site. They they have strengths and weaknesses, um, and I guess you could say they have they found their niche. They've each found a niche, which is good. You want to have a niche, okay? So we're gonna exit. All right, so that's the exercise room. They also have make a hand where you basically, I'll just go in there really quick. We'll see what they tell us to do here. They probably tell us to make a hand. They want us to make a 369 hand, oddly enough. We were trying to play 369. So let's say we do three dot and then six dot. You just click on it multiple times to match the hand. And then let's say, let's make a mistake and see what it does. So we're going to do three sixes and then let's try four nine dots and see what it does. Okay, so we have uh, actually, can we put these back? Yeah, let's put these back. And instead of that, let's do the, this. Okay, so there's two colors in the line, three six in one color, six nine in a second color. In our tiles, we have three six in dots, a six crack, and then a nine band. We're going to validate. And this is incorrect. I just want to test it. You don't like hitting the ignore button? Yeah, my arm got tired. I was playing with it last night. And my my right arm, my bicep, or not my bicep, but the out, outside of my arm got kind of weak, weary. Anyway, let's validate and see what happens. Okay, so it's incorrect. It gives you a dialog box. Sorry, the tiles on your in your rack do not match the specified hand. Common mistakes include wrong combinations of pungs, kongs, squints, wrong combination of suit, which is what we have here, using a joker for a single or pair. Okay, that's excellent. Let's do one more. Oh, no, no, we don't want to try again. Let's um, change the section. Let's do a 2023 hand. Okay, so let's try this one. You can turn off ignore or set a time limit. On ignore. Oh, okay. All right. So let's do um, two flowers and then let's do this. We're going to make another mistake. We're going to put a, let's say a joker in there. <laughs> I know you can't, but let's do that. So here's 2023 with a joker, which is incorrect. And then let's do two different suits. So we'll do, let's say, uh, two bam. And then let's do three crack. Let's validate and see what happens. No, nope, incorrect. Okay, let's let's try again. So let's drag the joker out and let's put in the white dragon here. Oops, no, we don't want that. Okay, so we'll put that in there and then we'll validate and it'll tell us, yay, you did it. So anyhow, this is really great. I call this category modeling. They call it build a hand, I think it was. Make a hand, make a hand. That's great practice, especially when the new card comes out. And then they have another one called what hand is that? This is really just hand identification. It's not really reading hands by any means because you really need to see it, your opponent's exposures and discards in order to really read hands. In this case, we're just identifying what potential hands it could be in. Just for hand recognition is what I would call this. This is hand recognition. So we have four and eight. So you can't play clearly a year hand, but you could maybe play a two, four, six, eight hand. So you could click two, four, six, eight. So let's say we could maybe do with two, uh, four, eight in two suits, Kongs. We could do this one or this one. Sorry, not this one. We'll move that one out. Mixed suits. And then, and that's it for this one. 
Uh, let's see, for 4, 8, though, you can also maybe do addition. So there's this one you could maybe do. We could maybe do addition with a pair of flowers and the four cracks. But you can't do any others in here. We couldn't do a quint, no consecutive run, no odds. There's no year hand or wind and dragon hand. This could be your 369 clearly. And we have Kongs, so you just can't do singles and pairs here. So let's let's validate and see if I missed any. Okay, so we got 100%. We got an A. Woohoo! All right, so that's interesting. It's I call the I would call this hand recognition. They call it what hand is that? That's the same thing. What hand is that? It's not technically reading hands, it's hand recognition. And then the last thing that they have, a kind of a game. On the start page, you adjust with ignore. Okay. So here they have the spaces laid out for the tiles that could go with this. So you have a dialog box of all the different tiles to select from to fill in the gaps. So with this hand, it's going to be the news concealed hand. So you just build it out. So we would need another north. Uh, oops, nope, that's incorrect. We need south, south, and then we would need like let's say four bam and five crack and then validate. Oh, incorrect, what? N-E-W-S, four bam, validate. What do you mean that's incorrect? What did I do wrong? That is the hand. I don't understand. What hand is it telling us to make? Oh, you know, wait a minute. Let's, let's, huh. Okay, let's put this back. Oops. What is going on? Try four dots, but it could be four bands. How do you get the tile back up there? It won't let me do it. Okay, try four dots. Okay, we'll see what they say. Well, that's weird because it could be four BAMs too. It told me I was incorrect. I wonder why it didn't let me do four BAMs because it could be either BAMs or DOTS. That was weird. All right, so anyhow, you can see uh, it's just kind of a build a hand, another way to make a hand. They're going to give you some hints, I guess. So. That's the exercise room. Let's play with bots. Okay, so we're going to play an official game and we're going to play advanced. Let's see here. Yes, it's weird. It's a glitch. Okay. All righty. That's fine. Okay, shall we play with a robot? You guys going to help me out? All right, we're going to. Let's see, where are the. Judith, you said that there's a place where you can, we don't need hand suggestions. I thought you said there was a place, let's see, on the start game page, you adjust the auto ignore timer. Okay, let's just go in and see. So we're not going to welcome any invitations at the moment. Oh, here we go. Okay. Auto ignore timer off. Okay, that's good. We're turning the timer off. We're playing on the 2023 card. We're gonna, the bot level is um, advanced, which is fine. And then I guess you can change the tiles around, which is fine. It's fine the way it is. Okay, here we go. Play. Okay, we're gonna sort by suit. All right, we've got two multiples, three and four consecutive pairs. We're gonna play something consecutive. So we're going to hold one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four of some kind. Anytime I have mixed suits, I use four numbers in a range around the multiple. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four of some kind. We're not going to pick a hand. 
because we've got lots of discards. So let's pass east one and then maybe one of the nines. Let's bring back that one and do a seven. So we're not passing seven, eight, nine in case we get everything we want. Okay, we've got a three. Oh, we have a one, one dot. So we have one, two, three, pair one, pair three. We have pair four here. So one, two, three, four, no flowers. All right, we've got tiles we can pass. Let's do nine, one, six. What do you guys think? Consecutive run, is this what you would try? Okay, we got a one bam. Well, one bam. Oh, here's a five dot. Hmm. Well, we have two tiles to pass. Let's let the one go. So we have one, two, three, four, one through four. We have a five in there. We could maybe switch to little odds. Oh, we have a two now. So we have one, two, three, five, two, three, four, and a four. And then a red dragon in there. We should definitely keep going. Let's do seven, eight, let's see, eight, seven, and then the red. I don't think that red dragon's gonna be helpful in mixed suits, not for consecutive run anyway. Oh goodness, look what we got, five and four. That's why I like to keep numbers in a range around the multiples here. Now we have a pair of five dots. We have one through five, that's a hand with no gaps. We could also maybe do one, two, three, one, let's see, two, three, four, four, if we get flowers. So maybe we can hold the fours. Let's hold the fours. If we get flowers, we could do that second hand from the bottom. Okay, here we go. No keepers. So now we have one through five, no gaps. Okay, I think we can let the 4BM go. No keepers. Okay, so we're going to pass three. We have, let's see, this is going to be a little risky though. See here, you can't change your mind. I wish we could change our mind. I guess that would be a feature request. Like here, I would say, I guess we can let the 4 crack go with a seven and a nine, let's say. That's not too bad. We broke up a pair, but either way, we'd have to break up a pair anyway. Okay, oh, we got another one. So we could do one, two, three, four, Punk Kong, second hand down. Let's, let's let the East go. Okay, now we're gonna double click. Okay, now here, this is kind of different. I'm not used to this. And I caught my, make myself making a mistake a couple of times by because you get so used to clicking ignore, 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 ignore. And I passed on a couple of Mahjong tiles or call tiles because I was, you know, I'm a creature of habit and I just clicked ignore, but I really needed the tile. So train yourself to go slower. You kind of, you, you might have that urge to go fast, but you don't have to go fast. So just be careful when you're clicking ignore. It's a little different, especially if you're used to playing elsewhere. So we're going to ignore. And also the other thing you want to keep in mind is the robots are going to be having exposures and you want to still monitor their exposures, not only for Joker exchanges, but they're playing to win. So if they have two exposures, you want to try not to discard their winning tile. That's the other advice that I have on this platform, really playing any game. But on this platform, I kind of forget to look at their exposures. I'm just not used to the layout. OK, so we don't we don't want that. Oh, we got a flower. I guess we could keep it for a bit. We don't want any of that, don't need that. Oh, we got a keeper, a two dot. So we could maybe play one, two, three, one suit Kongs, fifth hand down. 
No, we don't need that. Don't need it. Can't do it once the game proceeded. Okay. Yeah, we don't want a one bam. I wonder if one of these robots is going to take it because one bams were going around in the Charleston. Yeah, clicking ignore too fast. Yep. Yeah, exactly. You have to be careful because there it is. I knew it. Okay, now here we could use that if we had a joker for this first hand under one through five, but we don't we don't have a the right tile for it. We have only one tile. We need another one, so we have to let it go. Otherwise, you would click call. So we're gonna ignore. We'll let that north go. We don't want the green. Nope. No, thank you. Okay, eight bam. We don't want that. Nope. No, thank you. Nope. Okay, six bam. We don't need that. Six bam can go. No, we're playing one through five or one, two, three. Now, if a one dot goes down, we might consider it for a Kong. We're good there. Oh yeah, we don't want to hold on to dragons. Okay, now four crack and seven crack have not been discarded yet. So we don't want to hold on to those for too long. We still have 73 tiles left. Do you see this 73 here? So we want to keep an eye on that because we don't want to hold on to these fresh tiles going into the end game. Okay, there's a pung of white dragons to the right. There's the first four crack. Nobody took it. Okay, here we have a six dot. Now I'm thinking, could we potentially get the pair hand? There's two seven dots out, two six dots are out. I'd say it's a long shot, but maybe we can keep it. There are 68 tiles left, so we have five picks before the end game. I'd say we should probably let this seven crack go. Nobody wanted it. Okay, now here we have to make a choice. Well, we could let it go and wait for the next one, but we have a player to our right who has white dragons, and they might want that for a year hand. Since we have only one flower and a pair of fives, I think we should commit to that first hand. So I think we should call for a pung. And now we'll let the flower go. That's that's our riskiest tile. So right now, the flower, six dot and four can go. The six dot and the four, those are pretty safe because they're already out. So we're going to discard our riskiest tile first. So our opponent to the left discarded a flower, um, or they called the flower. There's a joker up for grabs. So we need to keep an eye on that. We need a pair, so we, we can ignore that. How come we can't hear the robot's name? The it's very quiet. I would have to turn up the game, which I can do. I'll turn it up a little bit. Did you hear that? Can you hear that? They got the joker. Well, we don't need wins. Okay, so let's just pause a second. It's garbled. Okay, I'll listen for it in the repost. I don't know if there's anything I can do. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I can try to turn it up a little bit more. Tell me in a minute here if it's better. Okay, so we have on the left, Kong of Flowers, Kong of One Cracks, or One Bams, sorry, that's a peacock, I think. We have a, we have one dots in here. We need to let this one dot go. I would probably let that be my next discard because this player to our left could be playing like numbers with ones. Player to our right has white dragons punged. A pung of white dragons. 
is in either a year hand or 369 or maybe Winds and Dragons. North and south are out, one east, no west. So I probably would discard that west pretty soon too. Because we're still in the middle game by three picks because we have 57 tiles left. And then the player across from us has a pung of sixes. We don't know what they're playing. Okay, so we need to discard, I guess. So let's discard this one dot. This player on our left might pong or Kong, I mean, maybe. Yep, there it is. The robot won. Could you hear them applause? Good for them. Like numbers with ones. And across from us, they were playing a 369 hand. To our right, Winds and Dragons, East and West. Oh yeah, they have they needed the West. So it's good that we were prioritizing that West, East and West with dragons. And we wanted one through five, three discards, which is not too bad. Shall we play one more game? You guys want to play another game? Did you hear that? Can you hear the computer? Okay, we have three flowers, a pair of jokers, <laughs> a pair of jokers. Okay, so we have a pair of five cracks there. I'm thinking maybe we can try for like numbers with fives. Oh, you can hear it. Okay, good. All right, now. We have four, uh, three flowers. There is a four flower hand in, in uh, odds. So maybe we can keep this one dot. If we get one three in, oh no, no, we would need one bam, not one dot. Yes, to another game, the computer is not clear. Okay, I'll listen to the repost and we might have to just, I might have to turn my sound off. I don't know what to do. It sounds garbled. Okay, uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna play maybe like numbers. I suppose we could keep the green dragon because there is a concealed hand. We could maybe discard that flower. One thing I'm thinking is if we had a four or a six in bams or dots, we could maybe try for the quint because we've got three flowers. So let's let's pass one seven eight. This is a little bit risky, but we could be playing a big hand. So I'm okay with that. All right, we have we have one three here. One three five. Let's let the dragon go. Oh, we got the five dot. Okay, now I think we need to let the three crack and the one crack go. Let's let one, uh, one, two, at least it's in mixed suits. Can you guys hear that ding? You know what, I just, oh, I was thinking maybe we could do the concealed odd hand, but we'd have to throw away a pung of flowers. I think we should push, we should force like numbers with fives. Unless we get a four. Did you hear that? Okay, now we have a six. We have tiles we can pass. So maybe we could do five dot six crack quint. We've got two like numbers with threes in here now. We're going to the right, so we could pass one blind. Garbled, just noise. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down. 
or I'm going to turn it off. Well, I'll just turn it down because at least I can hear it, I guess. Okay, now we have to make some choices here. We have a six crack. I'm thinking we should play like numbers, even though it's a gap hand. We can use the jokers for the missing five bam. Let's just pass two, because we could still maybe play a quint. Okay, now here we can pass three. One, three, five. Let's see here. Maybe we could play now that we have this three bam. If we get a one bam, we could play one, three, five, five, third hand from the bottom on the left. So let's just say two. Oh, look what we got. Oh my goodness. We got a six. Okay, now I think we should play the quint. We can only quint one though at the moment, but we can call for the flower. Let's see if we can get some more jokers. So we're looking for, we, we don't need that. We're gonna play, the, we're gonna try for the quint. Especially, okay, now here, that's what we would want to quint. Let's just do it. Okay, so we're going to now peel off the other tiles we don't want. Maybe one of these bots will take the five crack for a, a, a exposure with a joker. Okay, so let's let the three bam go. All right, we're playing the third quint. And we need more jokers. Three dot. We're we're focused. We're we're zoomed in. We're locked and loaded. This would be called a oh, they got the joker. We're locked and loaded. Okay, we need we need six cracks or jokers. If a flower goes down, we can calm. Oh, we don't need, let's see here. Nine dot is out. Let's throw the six dot. Ignore. Okay, we need a keeper. We got a joker. We need it. Oh, we can throw that. Okay, now we're 65 tiles left. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Sandra says it's super easy to see. Okay, we need a six crack or another another joker. Okay, we got a north exposed. Five crack. Yes, that is what I was hoping for. Okay, now you double click, double click, joker swap. Got it, double click. All right, let's throw the five crack. All right, so we need a flower and a six crack. Oh, there's another joker exchange opportunity on the left. Oh, we don't wanna hold that. Where are the flowers? Joker, nice. Okay, we're ready to win on that quint. We need a flower or a six crack for a joker. Oh boy, we're in the end game see that 32 tiles left we don't actually see a wall but they give you the number of tiles uh-oh east the player on our right could be playing the first hand under wins they may kong this hopefully they're not gonna mahjong doggone it somebody else did 
we were ready on a quint. All right. Shall we play one more game? I need to create a t-shirt that says one more game or just one more. Just one more. Just one more, okay? Let's do one more. Okay. We have a pung of five bams and a pair of four cracks. Four, five. I think we should, let's maybe even keep that south because we could maybe try for the news concealed hand. We have consecutive multiples. So let's hold four, five. Four, five. Two, th we could do two, three, four, five. We could do four, five, six, seven. So let's hold the twos. Okay, here we go. We have a five and here's a six. So we have four, five, six. Let's let this, let's see, four crack pair, five crack pair, five bam pair. Be really nice if we can get a four bam in here. Okay, let's let the two dot, uh, two, let's let the red dragon go, the two crack and the four dot go. Okay, see you, see you later, JL. Nice to have you here. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me in this pop up. Okay, we got another. Oh, look, we got the four bam. Nice. Okay, so we have a pair of souths there, but we have a hand in here with no gaps. Four, five, four, five. Four, five, four, five. I think I would break up the south and focus on four, five, four, five and build. We just need to build up four, five. You're welcome. See you later. Bye, Evelyn. Thanks for popping in. Let's let the two nine go. Okay, so we need to keep going. Second Charleston going left. We're looking for four five. Oh goodness, that's a risky pass. Let's do nine with a green. No keepers. West, let's do one red. Courtesy pass. Oh, just JL was leaving. Oh, I see. <laughs> I thought you were leaving. <laughs> Thank you, Evelyn. Okay, uh, let's see here. All right, we're going to pass. We have three, but look, we have four, five, six, seven. We have a pung of five cracks, though. I would really focus there. We do have tiles. So we could pass, though. Okay, we're now in the pick and discard phase. Okay, so we have four, five, six, seven. The dragons and the nine dot are discards. Hold on, I got a cough real quick. All right, I'm back. Okay, I think we should ignore, of course. We don't need a two crack or a seven bam. We really don't need the two dot, but I, if I'm not playing dragons, I let them go first. And these are fierce dragons, by the way. Oh, there's a flower. We're looking for four or five. Now there's Joker bait for us. I think the robots do take Joker, uh, Joker bait. <clears throat> we need a four crack five, a uh, four bam. Uh, we can pung the four crack and Kong the five bam. We need four bam, five cracks. So we're looking for four, five, four, five cracks and bams. Okay. Hi, Susan. Okay, now this, we're just playing on I Love Maj. I joined their affiliate program because they have some beginner practice room that I think is really good. And so tomorrow morning, we're going to be playing here. So I thought we would poke around. And that's what we're doing here today. Just playing around with the platform. It's different for sure. It's, you got to get used to these different platforms. Oh, no keeper there. Let's let the two go. That's a year, a year tile. If you're not playing a year hand, get rid of those year tiles. And wins. 
Winds are useless if you're not using them, of course. Okay, we need four or five. Come on, we need a keeper in here. Oh no, we need bands. We need cracks, bands. Okay, seven dot was just discarded. The six, seven, and cracks, these are going to be discards for us. Six crack is not out yet. Eight dot is not out yet. We're still in the middle game. Okay, there's a six bam. So here's four, five, five, six. That's not helpful. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, four bam. We have a hand with no gaps. A four bam was just discarded, but we're playing Hong Kong, third hand from the bottom. Let's discard the six. I don't think anybody wants the seven. Oh, we don't need a one. Uh, pass. Oh, nobody wanted the one, uh, the nine. Darn it. Oh, we could call that. We're going to pung. Okay, now let's discard. So we have four crack pung. We're locked in. We're locked and loaded. It's close to real mosh where you have to skip if it thinks you can pick up or need a discard. Okay. I've, I've played there just to kind of, I like to play on all the platforms just to try them all out. But anyhow, this is a new one for me. Oh, we don't need a nine bam. Let's see here, two are out. We, we have about, let's see, 57 tiles. So that's about four picks. Let's see here, six BAM, none are out. Nine BAM, two are out. Nine dot, nobody wanted. Eight dot is not out yet. Let's throw the six BAM. Yep, that's Riley. He's hovering because he wants to go outside on the deck. Oh, we can pass on that. These will be good safe discards later. A six dot, we don't need that. Oh, there's a red dragon. See, this is, you have to get used to looking up above the discards because there's ro a robot with an exposure with jokers. So it's, it's almost subliminal. So you really have to train yourself to look around the robots. Four dot, we don't need a four dot. We need five crack, five bam. We don't need a list. Usually one of the robots plays a, a wind hand, I've noticed. Maybe it's just coincidence. But, oh, four crack, we already have an exposure there. Oh, we got our four bam. Awesome. Oh, wait. Okay, so eight dot on the right. The player on the right. Incidentally, the little skull, that's how you declare their hand dead. Call dead. You click that skull. Oh, that's a con for us. Okay, that's a con that's a con for us. So let's let the nine dot. Oh, somebody got it. Dragon hand. This time they weren't, nobody was playing wins. Okay, let's see. That's why the sound would be helpful. You could hear the robots say call. They do say call very quickly. In the, it's probably isn't compatible with the other tech. Okay, well, I'll listen to the, the replay and see what happens. So I think maybe we can do one more. Just one more. Look, we got jokers. Okay, so here we have four crack pair. That's where I start. I don't know about you guys, but I start where the multiples are. The multiples drive the decision for me. So we have three, four. Here's a three. Four numbers in a range around the multiple. So we have a north. 
I think I'm going to keep the north. Maybe we can force a quint. Just one more. We got fours. Okay. Let's see. So we have three, four, three, four, four. Like numbers with fours. Let's let the north go. Okay, now here we could maybe play like numbers with fours. But this now is going to mean that we have to pass, we have to discard threes, like numbers with threes. Okay, so I think hmm, we could also maybe play three, four dragon or like numbers with fours. We are on our first left. We can pass blind. We could play like numbers with fours with or without dragons. We could play three, four dragon or three, four, three, four. We really have just one tile to pass, but we're in between hands. I think I would rather pick a hand. So let's see, three, four dragon or like numbers with fours, with or without the dragons. Let's just pass two and see what happens. We got another four. Okay, now we have to make a choice. We do have like numbers with fours in here. We have a gap, no white dragon. But we could play like numbers with fours with flowers, the Kong hand. So either we let the dragons go, like maybe one of them, and focus on the fours. Let's keep going. We're going to focus on fours. We got a four. And we have north and south. I would let that dragon go. Okay, so we have like numbers with fours here. Okay, we have to pass three. That's really risky. Look at that. But we have a hand with no gaps, so that's fine. That bot over there, if they're playing a win hand, they might win this game. We kind of got stuck with a, a big hand over there. The other thing I was thinking, if we get that three crack back, we could maybe switch to three, four, three, four. That is a hand of least resistance. Let's just pass two. Oh, we got a five. All right, so I think we can pass three. Or maybe let's just do two. Let's do two, because we might get that three crack back. Nope. But we did get a, we did get a south. We could maybe try for the quint. So we're in between the like number quint or like numbers with four flowers. We're going to ignore that west. Let's let the dragon go. Oh, there goes the south. I, I would let that go now. We're going to let it go. Okay, let's see. We'll let that eight, eight go. Three bam. Well, we do have three, four, three, four, but we'd have to let a pung go. I wouldn't do that. I think we should let the threes go. We're going to focus on the fours. Now, surprisingly, this robot in front of us didn't call for any wins. We don't really need that. The dragons are going down. Okay, there's a Kong of nines. Nines going down. North, we can let that go. Soap. I don't call it soap. Do you guys call the white dragon a soap or do you call it a white dragon? I just call it white. 
Oh, we need to call that. Okay, now here, technically, that could be our pair, but we could Kong it and let the four BAM be our pair. It'd be a little bit risky, but we could always whittle down the four crack to be the pair if the four BAMs go down. Or we can let that go and let the four dot be our pair. Either way, we're gonna be exposing jokers. Let's let's let the four dot be our pair. We got a four dot. Darn it. All right. Well, it just proves I'm not clairvoyant. I wish I were. That'd be fun. All right, we're gonna call it. We'll call one. We'll call one of them and see. Okay. We still need a pair in here. Hopefully we'll get a four B up. I think we're close enough to call the four. Oh, you know what? Really, that that's the way it's going to be. The four BAM will be our pair. Oh, three dot. I was hoping someone would take that with a joker. Red dragon. Oh, <laughs> three dot again. Okay, we'll call. We'll call. All right. We're ready on a 4 BM. Oh, flower. Okay, there's 35 tiles left. We're in the end game. Where's the 4 BM? Okay, there's a joker up for grabs there. Not that we care, because we're waiting on a pair. And these robots could win any moment. Hi, artistic. Two bam. Darn it. We didn't get it. Well, we got ready. We got close. Okay, we're going to play one more, and then I got to cook our dinner. One more time. One more game. I just can't get enough. It's kind of like Lay's potato chips. One just isn't enough. Is that what they say? What is it? You can't eat just one. You can't play just one. You got to play one more. Just one more. All right, so we have a challenge ahead of us. We have two pair, sixes and nines. If we happen to get a seven, we could switch to consecutive run, which is more flexible. So I think we're in between three, six, nine, or six, seven, eight, nine. Let's break up the ones. D, I've done that before. <laughs> I need to make our dinner too, my my poor husband. Okay, we're gonna keep the eights. If we're gonna do six, seven, eight, nine, we're also in between three, six, nine, and six, seven, eight, nine. We've got tiles we can pass. Oh, three, six, nine. There it is. Three, six, nine. Okay, so I would think we can let. Uh, let's see. We have six, nine. Three six nine. We're we're gonna have to make a choice now. Let's see. Let's get that six in there. Why won't it let me put it in there? Get in there. Okay, whatever. I don't know why it won't let me get it in there. Okay, six. I want the six in the middle. There we go. All right. So let's let the eights go, and we're gonna have to pass a white dragon because we do have a three crack right here. So three, six, nine, you know what? Maybe we could play the three, six, nine pair hand and let this three crack go instead of passing like numbers. 
Okay, we got the three and a nine. Let's try for either the concealed three, six, nine hand. Yes, Riley is being a little bit of a, a pest at the moment, but we love him. He's a lovable pest. All right, here we go. We're going to keep going. Wait, oh, that's funny. The robot stopped the Charleston. I've never had that happen to me before. Okay, so... And it was the player across from us, so we're not going to pass. No, thank you. All right. We have our work cut out for us here. We're playing either the compare hand for 369 or the concealed hand. We could maybe play 369 in one suit. We have a flower here. Okay, we're going we're gonna to let it go. Might as well. We're looking for three, six, nine. Okay, let's let the eight go. We need a green if we played. Oh, we got a flower. All right. Okay, so maybe, mm, <laughs> maybe we need to play the three, six, nine in one suit. Okay, well, we'll see. Oh, we don't need a two dot. We still could maybe play the concealed hand. Three, six. Yep, there's some potential there for the knitted hand, second hand from the bottom. We'd have to throw away two pair though. I don't know. We'll see. We're not at a place yet where we have to make a choice. And I'm hoping that one of these robots will make an exposure of four flowers with jokers because they've done that in the past. I think we're closer to the concealed hand. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, now hold on. Two, three dots are out. We need a pair. And we need that six bam, too. If we play the pair hand, we might be forced to switch to the concealed hand. Six crack. Oh, five bam joker there. We don't need an east. Six bam, that's a keeper. Okay, the three dot is our biggest weakness right now. We need a three dot. We may need to let a flower go. We need that three dot. Darn it. No pair hand. Okay. So at this point, we can switch to the concealed hand and there's a flower. Okay. So here I would switch to the four flower hand in one suit. Since the three dots are all out with four, fl the flowers here. Let's let the white dragon go. We're going to focus on the bams. That's terrible. Darn it. That's a pair for that second hand down. We had a really nice, a nice trend there with the, uh, hi Jane, with the, uh, cons the pair hand. Shoot. I need to get a dot for that too. Oh. Okay. North. Only five more picks. That's our tile. Shucky Dons. 
East. Four more picks. Yeah, we can't win because we have too many discards. Oh, here's a Joker, though. We'll keep it. Might as well. Okay. Six crack. What was recently thrown? Nine dot. One is out. Six dot. One is out. Uh, let's see. Six crack. One. I only see one six crack. I'm still getting used to this. Let's see here. Well, how many? We still have two more picks. Ooh. Okay, so at least we have discards here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wall game. Oh, we got 10 points. <laughs> All right. All right, my friends. I think that's going to do it for this pop-up Let's Play live stream. Thank you for joining me. It was fun. I like I Love Marge. I love all I Love Marge. It's called I Love Marge, so I think we kind of have to call it I Love Marge. I love I Love Marge. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it, look for my email in the video description below or just use the promo code MajLife, M-A-H-J-L-I-F-E, MajLife, and you can get three weeks free. It is fun. I love playing Mahjong. I love Maj. It was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.